Fort Lauderdale has a splendid rent it here, leave it there bicycle hire operation. And I'm using it to come to this tropical garden because buried deep inside is a place rich in art and architecture. Hugh Taylor Birch was a lawyer from Chicago who donated 40 acres of prime South Florida land to his daughter. And in 1920, the Bonnet House was born. Today, the mansion provides a snapshot of good taste from a century ago. I'm meeting Bonnet House curator, Denise Cunningham. I've had architects come and nobody can really pinpoint what kind of architectural style it is. It's like a mixture of many things. And and it's all very artistic and one of a kind. I love the, the natural surroundings, the wildlife that's here. The very generous Hugh Taylor Birch also bequeathed a huge tranche of territory to the state. It's now become a state park named after Hugh Taylor Birch. Quite right too. It's natural that South Florida, being very enticing, has attracted a fair amount of building along the shoreline. So it's splendid that there's still a slice of natural Florida remaining. Here at the State Park, you can go biking, hiking, kayaking. And if you're not prepared completely to disconnect from the rest of the world, there's also free Wi-Fi. I fixed up online to meet Jennifer Roberts, the state park manager. We have 175 state parks in Florida and we like to say that our park is the best. It's kind of like Florida's Fort Lauderdale's little um, central park. So it's just this little piece of what Florida was, um, just this natural area with these natural habitats and amazing wildlife that you just can't see in this area anymore. So it's it's just such a, a piece of history that it's amazing. Close by to the state park is the place I'm staying, the Pelican Grand Beach Resort. When they say beach, they mean it. Unlike some hotels, there's no road separating you from the sand. There's a lovely South Florida vibe. And although I wouldn't say that what I'm paying for tonight is cheap, it's well over $200, what you get for your money is really impressive. Perhaps more than you would get somewhere south of here in a place called Miami, wherever that is. Come and have a look. Classic Florida style with a modern twist. No, not me, the rooms at the Pelican Grand and a view as wide as the ocean. 